you ever wanted to unit test your code? Me neither, but let's do it anyway. So if you want to unit test your code in Go, all you need to do is three simple things. First, in order to test something, you need to create a test file, and that test file is going to be named some file name underscore test.go. Second, you need to know that whenever you put methods within that test file, if they are tests, they need to be denoted as func test and then some name. I'll show you that in a moment. Finally, all of our test methods need to take in T of type pointer to testing.team to actually print out the errors that our tests might throw. And let me show you a very, very quick example. Right here, you're looking at the code to test a method that will sum up everything within a slice. It's stupid simple, but that's not the point. The point is to show you how to test. And the way you test is you create a sum underscore test.go. Doesn't matter what happens before the underscore test.go. All that matters is that we have the underscore test.go. Next, we need to go ahead and actually write our testing methods. All these test methods have to have follow the convention of being func test, and they have to start with test, capital T and then EST, and then it can be whatever you want after that. They take in a parameter of T, which is just a pointer to testing.t. We go ahead and actually test our method, and then we just check some condition. If it fails, we have to throw an error, and if an error isn't thrown, it'll count as passing. We just have to do go test. We run go test, it'll pass all of our tests because this method is implemented correctly, and that's it. That's how you test, it's that easy. If you made it this far, make sure you like and subscribe, and congratulations, you watched almost two minutes of content on testing. That's pretty impressive. I'll see you next time.